What is up guys? Mike it's Mimo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough the playthrough of uh, the Hashishin Balear and welcome to episode 12 part 3 where we're gonna continue where we left off which is the city of Morasul but uh just like I explained in my previous episode, I wanted to keep the arenas for the mere purpose of, uh, you know, competing only in the arenas in order to do that. All the arenas within the game, you know, uh, Varent, Murtana, in one video. But in order to get access to the Temple of Morasul, I need to get access to Gonzales. And therefore I need reputation points, so I have to challenge the soldiers in the arena. So this is going to be interesting. Ah, a fresh face. I'm Felipe, and I run the arena. I am... Interested in fame, glory, and gold? Then you've come to the right place. Now it is 2.30 a.m., so I will not talk too loudly, but uh, I'm not going to say that on my ass and do nothing, you know. What are the rules? You buy a combat partner from me. If you win, you get twice the amount back, and the champion will receive the Moonblade. What exactly is the Moonblade? The great prize for the champion of the arena. I can assure you that this is probably the most coveted weapon in all of Morasul. Even Gonzales, the most powerful man in town, would love to own the Moonblade, I bet. Really? I'm ready. I want to fight. Can't wait to see this. Come to the arena. Featuring now, the challenger, the stranger from up north, versus the well-known, formidable, and much-revered Paladin. So what do I do next? If you're not going to chicken out, you must enter the arena. That's where the Paladin awaits you. If you leave the arena before the fight is over, you lose. Understand? Right. Get moving then. Now I only do the battles that I need to do, but I fear that I'm going to need to do the whole arena. Come here. Okay. Very impressive. It was like, okay, let's do the bam, 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 dead. Well, knock the fuck out. But uh, I need to get 75 reputation points to get access to Gonzales. And I have about 55, so I need 20 more. Each battle gives estimatedly about 5. So it's most likely going to be the entire arena. Come here. There's going to be a fight. As you can see, my character is really not that strong, but uh, I have to win either way. So uh, I think I'm going to use some healing capabilities within battle, provided that I have enough potions, etc. Because I have to complete it, whether I ha like it or not. Um, I could wait, you know, that's not the problem. But since this episode is for Morasul, I need to get access to the temple and therefore I need access to Gonzales to purchase one of those keys come here Ah! <sighs> 
Yeah, my characters are totally not ready for the arena. <coughs> I need master, and uh, I need also need a couple be better blades because this blade is 110 strength, like a 200. I know this is a bit lame, but I have no other way. Nearly lost, even. <laughs> but I get five. There were four fights, 20 in total. So I have to compete the entire arena. Oh, quite impressive, really. But I still believe you've just gotten really lucky. Lucky? Well, we both know that the Paladin's heyday is over. You have to beat some stronger opponents if you really want to go far. Ankthos is a different story altogether. A hero of the people. Handles a sword quite deftly. Give me a real opponent. You've got courage. I will give you that. Listen up, people! Fighting next! The challenger, the lone wanderer of the north versus... Ankthos the Nomad! He came from the desert to avenge the death of his brothers. Will the challenger be strong enough to hold his own against him? Have you got a hint for me? Yes, watch your neck. And now go. Anktos will be waiting in the arena. Because, you know, once I'm gonna do my hardcore run, you can bet your ass that I'm gonna use magic in the arenas. Well, the arenas that will allow me to, such as Mora's rule, which is quite big, you know. Because uh, when I do the hardcore run, if I get knocked down, I get knocked down. So weapons will be lost, gold will be lost, you know. Can't reload during hardcore runs. So that one is gonna be interesting. Especially in Gothic 3. And Forsaken Gods, Gothic 4, and Fall of Satyrus are going to be a hell to play. Because they're shitty ass fuck. I'm waiting to get access to E Star so I can purchase the best one handed sword in the game. Well, buy the blueprint for it so I can craft it two times, which is the, uh, I think it was called the Master Sword, I'm not quite sure. Something with Master, that's for sure. And it, it is a sword. And no, I'm not referencing to the Master Sword of The Legend of Zelda, just to make sure, you know. Sometimes I feel so tired. Why do they call you a paladin? I was a simple soldier in the king's army and fought in the war against the orcs. The Hashishin attacked us and dragged me off. Then I had two options, the arena or breaking rocks. An easy choice. Well, and then they gave me this title to attract spectators. It worked. And the thing is with the other playthroughs, because of the fact that I spit play this specifically I have the basic position armor which I got for free if I want to get the medium one I need to get 40,000 gold and I do not have that at the moment and that would make arena fights a bit more easier as well as getting the elite armor you know and how was the fight for you once upon a time I'd have had two like you for breakfast and today I'm sucking sand Man, I'm getting old. 
You fought well. Thank you. Even though I used magic. But as a soldier of Baliar, it is okay to be mean, you know. Fits the character perfectly. Come here! The only downside is you have to be careful because if you attack him with the last hit, he's gonna die. Which is the only downside of magic during uh, arena combat. <laughs> Sorry brother, but uh, I got to get this reputation and I'd rather not do every battle 10 freaking times. So I'll just use the magic to my advantage. Next time, it's my turn. Show me your goods. You <laughs> People are starting to like you. You can always go with them if you beat up a nomad. But your next opponent is a veritable bear. Big as a wardrobe and strong as an ox. They say he can snap a bear's neck with his bare hands. Whatever kind of animal that may be. It's too bad, you know, that Gothic 3 doesn't have any wild bears in uh, Nordmar. Would have been a bit more, you know, since... Uh, a bit more detailed because of the fact that Oleg is called Oleg the Bear. And he killed bears with his bare hands. There are no freaking bears in the game. I want a really good fighter. <laughs> You've got your work cut out for you. Listen, people. Do not miss out on this spectacle. Now fighting the mysterious stranger versus Oleg the Bear. Oleg the Bear. Well, you certainly know how to fight. Respect. Thank you. You know, they, they are still respectful, despite the fact that I use magic. Which is surprising. Then show me what you've got. Ooh. 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 Sorry, my friend. Not really, I'm re not really sorry. Just saying it to be nice. Sorry about the lightning attack, uh, brother. Hey. I have enough more. Oh, good. <laughs> So I don't have to challenge Angar yet. Good. Let me sleep in peace. Then at least I can uh, do the final battle in the arena video. Because all I needed was the reputation.
<laughs> what a match. What a spectacle. Yeah, yeah, I get the picture. You're ready. Ready for what? The title. Just one more fight and you'll be the champion of Morasul. Yeah, we'll do that later. Alright, so let's talk with Gonzalez. Can I talk to Gonzalez? Gonzalez is very impressed with your deeds. If you ask me, you will go far with the Hashishin. If you keep this up. Thanks. That's what I wanted to hear. It is best if you go straight to him. He's expecting you. I bet he is. Let me pass. You can go in. Have you come to bring me a present? None of that. I want to talk to you. All right. You made it into my presence, so your efforts shall be rewarded. Let us talk. Tell me about the orcs. They are driven by an iron will that led them all the way here. Pitiful creatures. The orcs have come to the desert, although they cannot bear the climate and the scorching sun. If you ask me, they will all perish in the burning sand of the desert before the next summer. I'm worried about the nomads and their spiritual leaders, the water mages. What's the problem with the water mages? The nomads follow them and their false god, Adonos. We are enslaving the nomads. And yet their numbers only seem to be increasing. They are pillaging our houses, raiding our caravans, and only have one thing on their minds. To drive our people, the Hashishin, from the desert. If we killed their leaders, the water mages, they wouldn't be half as bold and confident. I will find and kill all the water mages. Huh. <laughs> That's easier said than done. They are distributed all over the desert. The nomads hide and protect them. Follow the tracks of the nomads in the fields of ruins, and you will find their spiritual leader. Beliar be with you. How many water mages are here in the desert? There are seven of them, as far as I can tell. Saturus is their leader, and the most important of them. One of them is called Vatras. He too plays an important role in their circles. The others are Mixer, Nefarius, Riodian, Kronos, and Medarion. Yes, I remember. I met all of them on the island of Corinus. Well, in that case, I guess you know the best way to do away with them. We'll see. I'm looking for the keys to the temple. Interesting. And how can I help you? Do you know anything about the keys? All right. We are both businessmen. And therefore, I don't want to beat around the bush. One of the keys is in my possession. What do you want for the key? The orcs want the artifacts of the ancient ones. They're leaving no stone unturned in the desert. They would pay any price to get into the deepest sanctuaries of the ancient ones. Therefore, this key is worth a whole lot. Given current developments, I would relinquish it to you for 10,000 gold coins. That is a steal, in my humble opinion. What do you think? You don't have enough gold with you. So you rendered Morasul a great service? Then you probably also know that the Hashishin Ramirez has disappeared. I found Ramirez in the Field of Ruins. He is dead. That is extremely regrettable. The ruins are very dangerous, but he knew the danger. He could appreciate it. I cannot imagine that he was eaten by sand crawlers. No. His death is connected to his mission. Here, this is for you. What can you do for me? Because you have proven capable, I will teach you the art of magic. What was Ramirez's mission? A shipment of raw ore was stolen from Bensala. Some of it has surfaced at the merchants here in Morasul. I put Ramirez on the matter. He was following a clue. He believed he had found the ore thief. 
And he probably had. You believe that the ore thief is also the murderer? I want you to stay on this matter. Find his killer and avenge Ramirez. But be sure that you catch the right one. Teach me something about ancient magic. You don't have the necessary experience. Not quite close enough to our next level. Now I do want to kick Gonzalez's ass to get the key, but I fear it will trigger anger with everyone. But it's an option that I haven't tried yet, so let me try. I will tear the temple key from your cold dead hands. And incur the wrath of the entire city? <laughs> but if that's what you want, have it your way. You're about to yeah, I thought so. I cannot have that as a position. <laughs> well, I can get the gold, you know, it's not a problem to get the gold, but I just wanted to see what happens if you say that to him. But I was already pretty sure that it would give him instant red name. Bugger is still brooming every day, every night. Impossible. Uh, why have you all show me, me your goods? I need your gold. Now since I cannot make potions out of those yet, I'm gonna just sell it. But then I will be poor as fuck again. But at least I can then access the temple. Here's the gold. Give me the temple key. It was a pleasure doing business with you. I hope you'll be smart enough to get your gold back from the orcs. Alright, so I got the key for... Um, for the, um, the temple. But before I do though, because the temple is going to be in the final part of this episode. So let me quickly go to uh, Ben... Uh, uh, was it Benny Rai? To Sugut. See if he has any connections towards Ramirez. I need to know for my hardcore run. I 
can also learn how to thief. Mm, which means more gold, more loot. I know I have to be in Morasul and ask around about the old blank, but I just want to make doubly sure that this guy is not connected in any way. He's also quest related for our band Salah. You stole the ore blanks. And so what? What are you going to do about it? Tell me what you did with the ore blanks. I sold them a long time ago. Now beat it, otherwise I'll have to hurt you. Who is your partner? He left long ago. He knows every hideout in the desert, and has plenty of friends in Morasul. You'll never find him again. Morasul, huh? So what? That won't help you at all. Write it down if you like. He left the city long ago anyway. And don't think you'll learn his name from me, son of simplicity. Now there are a couple of blood flies here, I'm gonna kill them. Stop moving, please.
All right, so let's take care of Sugut. What do you want? Show. You are not me. Hey, there's going to be a fight, man. You are not chance for me. Hey, what hey, watch what you're doing. Let him have it. Never again, Dad. Put away. Hey, what? Yeah! Don't hate stop me right now. Stop right there, you coward. I will kill the beast! Go back now!
Alright, so let's quickly teleport to Benzala. Benzala. Too hard. Damn it, what's up? I have dealt with Sigurd. Excellent. Let him stew in Beliar's realm for his sacrilege. You have done a good job, and good work is rewarded with good gold. Show me your goods. Now where can I find find a thief? Cape Dunn. To uh, learn how to open metal chests. Um, because I need all the gold I can get right now. Let me quickly go to Cape Dunn. Teach me something about thievery. Teach me how to pick difficult locks. Ah, you want to get at the really valuable stuff. Hold the lock pick with just your fingertips. Then you have more feeling. You can tell if you push the locking mechanism in the right direction from the noise it makes. Six gold left. <laughs> um, so go take care of. Let's quickly go to Morasul. What do you want, slave? Bugger off. Stop! More and more of our people's valuables are disappearing. I bet you are responsible for that.
I don't know what you're talking about. Don't cause any trouble here. Got it? If this goes on, we will hold you responsible for everything. Alright, so that's my final warning. Alright, up towards the what the Morasul Temple. I wanted to say water temple, but it's by far not a water temple. Alright, so let me finish here guys and then uh, we're gonna go to the next part, the final part of Morasul. So, uh, this must never let me not walk to the entrance of the city. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button if you want to see a gothic series hardcore run. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload content. Damn makeups. And uh, feel free to watch any of my videos or use the timestamps that it may contain to your heart's content. If they're not there yet, they're on the development. First runs of each game goes first. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys in the final part of Morasul. If you want to see a different path, however, go to my channel, to my YouTube channel playlists and then you can find the human orc mercenary as well as the rebels. Enjoy and uh, I hope to see you guys tomorrow or next time for that matter.